using this uh, semantic kernel application we are going to connect this portal if Welcome you are new to my to video, video series, first I recommend to first to watch this video CP. how to build MCP server. In this video, server I'm going to focus it on how to kernel. deploy this video. I explain about what is MCP server, how next to create MCP server in this local uh, semantic kernel application. We are going right to write one simple example using semantic kernel. We connect that. If you are new to my video, series, video, first I recommend it first to watch this video how to build this video. Next level of server, this connects on MCP server. This video I explain about what is deploy this server, how to create MCP server in this local semantic kernel. Semantic kernel application. We are going to write a simple example of application. Semantic kernel. We connect that. If you are new to my video series, first I recommend it. First of all, mention your MCP server in Azure portal. I used ASP.NET Core application. Here I have created a project called MCP Server at Azure. This project is based on the ASP.NET Core web app only. So based on this, I have created this project. And the next step, if you go to the NuGet package manager, you have to install model context protocol dot asp dot net core make sure you are using the latest to preview version because if you use the older version it won't support so i used the 2.0 preview dot 2 version and here you can just keep the code base as it is or if you want if you want to remove the codes you can do it whatever it is but i leave with the as it is so before build this project here i am going to add the mcp server related information so builder dot services services add MCP server. So this is the one. So the next we have to add the transport. So with HTTP transport we have to add it. That's it. And after build this one here we have to add our map mcp function so i am calling the map mcp function that's it if you want to add the tools you can add it here again you can use um, with uh, tools tools from assembly you can use it so whatever uh, tools available in your assembly it will get load i don't want to go with this option because my tools my tools available in a different project uh, extension library tools here i i have my uh, mcp tools information so this is the same example which uh, we used a local mcp server uh, book data tools and another one is the external weather tools so these two i'm going to add into this mcp server so go to our program.cs file and here we add our dependency project add a project reference extension library I added and next we have to add the tools so here I used a with tools the tools one is a book detail one and another one is external weather plugin that's it so everything look fine we just build project and see any exception is coming or not seems to be all fine the next step we'll start the server so go to the exe directly start from server so here's the server started and running the port 5000 so the next step we go to our mcp client azure application this is a plain console application which we used in our last project itself the same code here I have added the kernel object to connect my local client llama client I connected this kernel factory available in LLM model factory class so here I call llama uh, function and get the kernel object and here we created the function called behavior and this code we enable a little bit later and here I send the prompt list the details of books and invoke the prompt finally we get the result and we just display it okay now we have to connect our local server how to connect it the first step make sure you have used the latest uh, model context protocol which we seen in our server uh, sample application 0.2.0 this make sure you installed in your client ap application as well 
The next step, we have to connect the server. Server running in localhost 5000 port. In that port, we have to connect our client. For that, we have to use MCP client factory. So wait, MCP client factory dot create. So the same API, but this time we have to pass the client transport object. So the client transport object had to create it. So the client transport and uh, it will call transport new of SSC client transport. So this one we have to use and here we have to pass the SSC client transport option. So here I do, I will create the object for SSC client transport option and new of client transport option and we have to specify the endpoint this one so the endpoint running in our localhost http slash localhost in port number 5000 is running that's it so this ssc client transport option we have to pass it here once it's done we have to pass the transport here that's it Once our MCP client factory connect to our server, it return the MCP client. In the MCP client, we can get the available tools. So here we get the available tools where tools equal to wait MCP client dot list of tools async and using the configuration weight we have to get the available tools and we just print this tools information tools mcp tool and uh, here we just print the console dot right line client tools name and uh, description fine and here we just print right line ready to use kernel fine just we return it at the moment and we run this application and see how it is behave so this is my start startup project and build so here it's started so the left side is a client so the client send the connected and requested the available tools and the server it's showing the log also so now we can able to connect the server so I close this one remove the return and add the tools into the kernel object so this is a function we have to use to add our MCP tool into the kernel object uh, this um, this concept I have already explained in our uh, last video so if you are new to this video, please watch that video. What is this function is doing? You can able to understand it. So all fine. Now I build the application again. And we start the application. So here it's running. This is our first request. The second request sent MCP server. Request handler completed. Ah, list of unfortunately no books were found specified category. Ah, if you like to search for books different category or ask about specific book, please let me know. I will do my best to assist. We change the prompt, get the list of books. And we rebuild and start the application again. completed yeah so here we get the uh, list of books so our local server working fine and the next step we publish 
the ASP.NET Core application in Azure. After that, we use the same uh, MCB client to connect uh, uh, Azure portal and get the available books. So I stop the application and close the server also. To publish ASP.NET Core application in Azure portal, go to the project, right click. Here you can see the option publish. And this window get pop up. Here you have to select host your application Microsoft Cloud, the first option. Next, here you have to choose whether you want to use Windows or Linux. I go with the Windows option. Next, subscription name. You have to choose your subscription. And if you have already published your uh, other web services, it will show here. I don't have anything at the moment. So there is option create a new instance. I select this one, create new instance. And here you have to fill required information. So name of your services and subscription, which resource group you are using it, hosting plan, you have to choose it. So the name, let it be there. MCP server Azure. I just remove this one demo. I added demo here and subscription OK, resource group fine. The hosting plan I'm going to change because this is a cost one. I change to free version. So hosting plan, this is fine. And location OK. And I select the free one because this is a test application. So I use the a free one. So click OK and click the create button. It's done. Deployment slot also is ready. Next. And use this option. Deploy uh, application to target and click off publish button. So I click the finish one. Let it create the profile. Our profile is ready. Now we have to publish to the Azure. Click publish button. Let it get published. So our application get published and we go to Azure portal. So here is our application is running. If you go to this uh, MCP server Azure demo and our application is running. So this is a default domain information. I have to copy this URL and go to our client application here, program.sys file. And here we are going to change the endpoint. So what I'm going to do, I'm just adding here server endpoint. I just add it like this, HTTPS, this one. The same URL, you can see the output here. This, this is a URL, In the console also, you can see it. I just copy paste this also fine. I felt, yeah. So here I add one more URL localhost. And this I just cut, paste it here. If you want to check local, you can use this URL and server endpoint. I pass this one here. That's it. So localhost no more used. We used our server endpoint. Now build the application and we start the client application. We get the available tools. Now it's processing our input. So here we get the available books from our Azure portal. This is a simple example how to host your MCP server in local and in Azure portal and using this MCP client application, we can able to connect our local server plus run uh, application running in Azure also.